So now that we have our background image in here, we're going to start placing your other photos in. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to File, Place, go to the folder that has all your photos in it, and I'm going to start with my rock climber. Hit Place. It comes in with the square in the center. Just go ahead and hit the Enter key, then come over to your Layers palette and right click your layer. Choose Rasterize Layer, which means it just flattens the layer and now you're ready to edit. So the first thing we're going to do with this file is use a layer mask on it. So what a layer mask does is it's essentially like a Halloween mask. It hides your face, right? So a layer mask just simply hides your photo, which is great because if you mess up when you're erasing, you can always bring it back and start again. So to add a layer mask down at the bottom of your screen, in the bottom of your layers palette, there's this icon right here. So if you're looking down at the bottom of your layers palette, you'll see a rectangle with a circle in the center of it. Go ahead and single click that while you are clicked on the layer that you want to work on. I'm working on the rock climbing layer, so it's selected. Come down, single click your layer mask button, and you'll see that there's this white rectangle that shows up to the right of your image. Now, I want you to notice that there's like a highlighted line around this rectangle. It's important that you see the highlighted line around the rectangle on the right rather than the rectangle on the left like I've just changed it, okay? If we start erasing, it's going to erase on your picture itself or paint on your picture itself. It's not going to add a mask, which is really important. Otherwise, you're going to get black and white stripes all over your picture and you'll have to start over. So make sure that you're clicked on the layer mask side. And we are, instead of erasing, we are going to paint. So we're going to use the paintbrush tool. Where are we? Paintbrush. So we're going to use our brush tool in your toolbar. Now up top here, you can change the size of your brush. You can change the type of brush that you're erasing with. Um, I like to use a relatively small brush when I'm going around small areas like that. Uh, I usually use a 20, 25, but you can change the brush as you go. Um, and now since we're clicked on the layer mask, what I want you to remember is that over here in your foreground and your middle ground colors, we've got this swap button over here. If you notice, my black and whites are swapping back and forth. Black paint takes away the picture white paint brings it back okay so whatever one is on top is the one you're using so if I'm painting notice my New York city life is coming through now let's say oops I erased my climber but I wanted to keep him just come over here to my toolbar swap it back to the white paint and I can paint it back in so all that mask is doing is hiding the parts of the picture that you don't want to see and keeping the parts of the picture that you want to keep. Okay, So it's really great to do this. Um, it's called non-destructive editing, meaning you can erase and bring back and erase and bring back and erase and bring back. So your goal is to get rid of all of the background. So if you look at what I'm doing, I'm taking my time. I'm going along the edges a little at a time. And remember, if you accidentally mess up and you take away a little too much, you can always bring it back. Just switch it back to the white paint. So you can go all the way around. And you're going to do this until you've completely taken out all of the background of the image. Okay? So as you do this, Every photo, every couple minutes you do, you work, I want you to do a file save or control S uh, just to save your progress as you work. And once we're done editing all of our pictures, we're going to move on to the next tutorial.